Hi everyone, this video I'm going to show you how to extract the audio track from a DVD. Alright, the process it's very easy. You just need to mount the DVD if it doesn't mount by itself. So in my case it doesn't auto mount and it's actually an ISO file. So what I did, I mounted the ISO file here in the media and then ISO folder. And as you can see, on pretty much every DVD, you should have an audio and a v audio underscore TS and a video underscore TS folder. And actually, all the stuff is inside the video folder. And if you're using a, I mean, depending on the file manager that you're using, you're getting uh, more or less information about the file. So in my case, I'm using Ranger and uh, Ranger it has uh, it uses I think FFmpeg to get a lot a lot of information uh, about the specific file. So in this case, the most important thing uh, information that I get it's the audio part. It's telling me what the codec it's using. It's been used this AC3 codec from Dolby's proprietary codec, and then super important is telling me how many channels are there could be like 5.1 audio track you know in my case it's just left and right you know so it's uh, stereo super normal two channels this is very important because if you have for example a 5.1 uh, you, ha you have to think about if you want to you know if you want to extract a 5.1 audio or if you want to extract uh, stereo so just le left and right so it's up to you. In my case, it's perfect. I, I want a stereo track and here I have a stereo track. So for me, it's perfect. And also super important that I have the bitrate. Now this, by the way, it's a lossy format. So it's already compressed. It's not lossless. But anyway, it's very important to know so that I can extract the audio and maintain this bitrate, you know, so I don't compress the file uh, uh, further than it's already has been compressed. All right, so let me move there to this folder. So media, ISO, video. All right, so here, as you can see, there are many files. What you have to, what's interesting for you is this .vob.vob files. There is probably one that is the, you know, the menu image that you get uh, when you you know when you turn uh, when you start a DVD when you play a DVD you get the menu you know and this is also a track dot uh, track and then you, you also got this one actually I have no idea what this is it doesn't even start and as you can see it's super small file compared to the other so you, you see I tried to play it doesn't even start I mean it's star but stay black so if I play this one, you will see just an image, you know, and this is the image of the DVD main menu. And this is, by the way, it's Sidekeist, uh, Addendum, so the second one, it's a documentary, and you can download it. You can also check it on YouTube, but you can also download uh, the DVD through Torrent, you know, for free. So I'll leave the link in the description. It's a great documentary, absolutely can't miss it so one thing that you can do you can play it you can play the file you can launch it and as you can see to the the video is there the audio is there so this is are the correct files racial and sexual what you want to do now is you want actually to use to basically you want to send to the standard uh, input i mean you want to send you want to use what's inside this file you know and print them on your terminal and then use this uh, the, this output as ffmpeg standard input so i'm going to show you basically you have to ls as i did before and then what's interesting for you is these vob files so you want to grab Vob. So you get just the VOB files 
now this I don't need this one but I'm just going to leave there probably it's not gonna be a problem you know and then basically what you want to, to do if I do echo this command as you can see you have all the files one after the other and this is perfect to be used uh, with cat so basically if I use cat and if I you know, if I select a file here and I do cat it's just gonna print a lot of stuff you know it's just gonna print what's inside uh, this this file in the standard output so basically what I want to do I want as I said I want to use it and send it to ffmpeg actually I have already everything here and I'm going to explain you right now what this does. So I'm going to cat all the files that are that I show you, all the VOB files. Then I'm gonna use a pipe. I'm gonna use ffmpeg, and in, as input I'm going to use the standard input. So what's cat outputting to the terminal here? So this the output go as input to ffmpeg. And then I want to use minus VN to say to discard the video, so video null. And then as I said here, uh, 192 kilobyte per second, the bitrate, and I want to use that also for my file, you know, so I want to preserve this bitrate. And I'm doing so by, by telling the minus P and then telling the the audio part you know because this one you can also use for the video so ffmpeg is telling you hey what do you want to use it for the audio for the video and i'm gonna actually encode everything as og vorbis so you can also use if you use og you can also use opus the codec and the default is uh, vorbis so i'm not gonna tell ffpeg to you the libvorbis codec but if you want to use something else just tell just put the the code that you want to use here and by the way you find everything on ffmpeg about all the different codecs that you want to use go to documentation ffmpeg all and then down here on encoders audio encoders there is everything flag opus vorbis etc and also by the way the video encoders if you need uh, to do something else and you need the video all right now let me go actually to the folder where i'm going to put the files Alright, the file is not there. So I'm going to press enter and ffpeg is starting the the encoding as you can see here. If it happens that you 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 did something wrong, you know, just remember that it's gonna throw you an error in this case and gonna tell you that uh, the file is already there, so you can just remove the file and then continue and redo everything. So I'm going to launch the encoding here and I'm going to uh, actually uh, I'm going to show you another way to to show the information about uh, a file, you know, an audio or video file. You can use FF probe. So let me go CD media is a video game and FF probe. Actually you can use ffmpeg input and then a track you know it's going to tell you like the video the codex the resolution FPS and here there is the audio track you know the bitrate but here it doesn't tell you like the channel and many other stuff so I think that you can do you can use FF Pro you don't need the input here and if you li like that, you know, you just uh, just outputting the same as F uh, as FFmpeg. But you want to add uh, show underscore 
streams. And it's going to show you all the streams that are there. Also the subtitles, the video and everything, you know. And if you want just the audio or just the video, you have to type select streams and then the A for audio. So now you have, as you can see here, there is just the audio. And here is telling you the sample rate, you know. It's telling you st stereo, two channels, and then bitrate, duration in seconds and in minutes, probably. I don't know, not really sure. That minutes and some other stuff. So as I said, if you if your file manager it doesn't show you the you know, the channel, the bitrate, the duration, or whatever you may you may need, you can do everything using uh, FFmpeg and all its other uh, commands such as ffplay or ffprobe, etc. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty fast. 42 times the normal speed so it means it's going to encode 42 times faster this is like a two hour documentary so it will be 42 times faster than uh, two hour so there it is actually I already encoded it before but I re-encode it now And as you can see here, you have your track. You maintain the, the bit rate, two channels, 48,000 Hertz or 48 kilohertz, etc. And it is now Vorbis, you know. So it's now uh, using a open source or a free uh, codec. And here is the audio. Today, it's the now, the is now available as newly created money for more loans. And of course, that 8.1 can be loaned out and redeposited, creating an additional 7.2 billion. Yeah. So it works. 5 billion to 5.9 billion, etc. All right, that's it. If you need to extract an audio, to extract an audio from a DVD or also blu-ray maybe it works something like that i have no idea never tried but more or less the process is like that you know you can also you know use different output and send this as a standard input for ffmpeg I, I just did here so you can play with it and see how it goes even for uh, other stuff that's not dvd all right, hope it was helpful. I'll see you the next time, guys. Bye-bye.